Today, I think I'm buying a brand new Tesla. And if everything works well, I'm gonna save a buttload of money, which I'll go over at the end of this video. But our appointment today is at 10.30 a.m. at the Buena Park Tesla, which is about 45 minutes away. So let's head on over to the Buena Park Tesla. I do have to pick up a check on the way and then just fingers crossed everything goes well. So welcome back to the channel and thanks for watching another video and let's get into it. Thanks for watching another video guys. If you're new here, my name is Dennis. I've owned two Teslas in the past and I make a ton of videos about my experiences with them. Also, I make videos on Tesla buying tips and financing tips. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. I'm definitely going to miss Apple CarPlay a little bit, but I'm definitely not gonna miss 17.6 miles per gallon. <laughs> Of course, it's only fitting that I have to go to a gas station right before I pick up my Tesla. And it seems like this gas station actually is really busy. So let's see how long this takes. It's 9.35 right now. I'm just gonna fill up a couple of gallons and then be on my way. So I was gonna wait for that gas station, but it was just taking way too long. So I'm just gonna go to a Shell gas station that's right around this way anyways. Since I'm only gonna fill a couple gallons, it won't be too bad, but I'll show you the gas prices right when we get there. There it is, $6.19 for regular and $6.49 for premium. Actually $6.59 for premium if you're using a credit card, oh no. Hopefully the last time filling up this car. So thanks for joining me on my morning escapade to fill up this gas car before picking up the new Tesla. But to kind of give you a brief history on the Teslas that I've owned, this will be my third Tesla that I'm buying today. And of course I'm gonna be financing it and there's gonna be a full breakdown of the payments, the terms and everything in the next video probably. But today's gonna to be all focused on delivery of the car and really just like a first glance and ins inspection of the new Tesla that I'm gonna get. But to give you a brief history, this will be my third Tesla again. I've owned uh, two other Teslas, a Model 3, Three performance Stealth. Uh, that was like a my first one ever. It was a red one. Stealth is basically a term in which it's still actually a performance Model 3, but it looks just like a base Model 3 with the base rims, base suspension, no carbon fiber spoiler, none of like the performance goodies that you typically get when you get a performance. So it was very stealth, very sleeper. Uh, I basically saved $6,000 because I got a stealth version instead of a long range. So that was my first one. It was a red exterior. I actually, unfortunately did pay $2,000 or so for the extra cost of the red paint, which it was nice. But uh, if I were to do it again, I would definitely get maybe a free color, a white, or even maybe a blue. I think blue is probably my most favorite Tesla color that Tesla puts out right now. Uh, it looks really classy and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg either. So I sold that one. It was about $330 a month cost after you factor in gas. And I made a complete video about that, which goes over my whole ownership experience. And there's a tons of videos about my 20, it was a 2020, 2019 Tesla Model 3, which I, I completely enjoyed it. I did get scammed with buying full self-driving with that one. And I paid, so I guess not necessarily a scam because I only paid $6,000, but I didn't really get too much value when I went to go resell it. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of completely against full self-driving for the cost of it, because I never got to experience the beta features uh, that you would get with buying full self-driving. So I sold that Tesla Model 3 about 18 months later. I didn't lose too much. And then I jumped into a 2021 Tesla Model Y Performance. This time I got a full performance package one. It was blue with black interior again. Uh, it was an inventory discounted demo with 888 miles, uh, but it had a $4,000 discount. So right off the bat, I was sitting pretty good. Blue, again, was my most favorite color. Uh, I think it looks really good in the Tesla Model Y performance. Uh, and then I got black interior again, which I kind of wish I got the white interior, um, but it just, I mean, I could not, I could not give up the $4,000 discount that it came with. So it was a pretty good deal. Uh, I think. 
But I drove that. I did a bunch of mods on it, uh, like ceramic and tint. Uh, I had a bunch of accessory videos from that. I was fortunate enough to get a lot of accessories from Amazon sellers and other sponsors so I could test it out. That was a great car. I definitely recommend getting a Model Y for anyone. It's a pretty good balance between like an SUV and like a performance car. So I had a lot of good times with that car as well. I did trade the 21 inch rims for the 20s and I got some cash out of that. So that was a pretty good deal as well. But I did sell it because the market has just been so hot. So I sold it seven months later after buying it with 15,000 miles and I profited uh, 1500 bucks after everything was said and done, including the cost of my tints, ceramic, everything, taxes, fees. So I thought that was a pretty good deal to just get out of it uh, and just wait for the next one. So this third Tesla, I'll show you when we get there, but I'm pretty excited for it. More so excited for the discount that I got. So hopefully everything goes well and slick. Uh, some of you have, who have been watching the channel can probably guess on how I probably got it. You can see some of my other tips or buying tips on my other videos, uh, and you could probably put it put two and two together if uh, you figured it out. But we're on the way to pick up the check first and then go to the Tesla Surface Center, so I should be there in about 20 minutes or so. So catch you guys just in a little bit. All right, so I just picked up the check. We are good to go. We're gonna be on our way to the Tesla sales and service center bueno park so hopefully everything is good we're a little early right now it's actually only 10 06 and our appointments at 10 30. they called me this morning and said i'm the first appointment at 10 30 a.m so hopefully the car is clean and everything is ready to go and we won't have any issues all right we'll see you guys there So there is Tesla Buena Park. I think I drove by, I just drove by it really quickly and I think I saw my Model S charging. I just got another text saying that my car is ready for delivery and I probably have to check in with someone. So I'm just gonna drive up right now, park this car that I currently have and then we'll just figure it out when we get in there. Hello. Yes. That's fine, yeah, so I can just park in the handicap? Thank you. All right. I see a bunch of Teslas here, but I don't know which one's mine. They told me to park in a handicapped spot while I'm waiting, which is kind of funny. All right, so let's go ahead and go inside and figure out what the heck I'm doing. There's a bunch of vehicles out here. I think this is mine over here because it's the only white one that's actually charging. Look at this thing. Holy crap. So as you guessed it guys, uh, I'm getting a Model S today and I'm pretty sure this is mine. Is there a way to check? It's got 15 miles on it and that's what the one on, that's what the Model S on my paperwork said it would have. So this is most likely it. But I got the white exterior with the black interior, which is the cheapest Model S that you can get. This is actually the brand new Matrix headlights or LED headlights that I was really thankful to get. It just released like a month or so ago. So this is pretty cool that I was able to get this. Plus there's a brand new charge port that's like a little bit bigger. So you can put like a security lock on it and the brand new tail lights as well, which just look a little bit different than the current or the last version. Uh, but this is it. It looks like I got the plate frame, which is pretty cool. So I'm looking at the VIN on my app and it's matching this one on this vehicle. So this is definitely my Model S. So I guess we'll just give it like a once over or a couple once over, but I'm literally in front of the Tesla store right now in Bueno Park, kind of just walking around my car. I still have my check in hand. I haven't given it to anybody yet, but I guess we'll do like a quick inspection to make sure everything is a-okay with this car. I don't see anything really wrong with it, but I'm also really not nitpicky at all uh, with the Tesla vehicles because I'm pretty, pretty chill about it. So I'm just more excited to have the car really than any defects that I can find of the, on the Tesla. So one thing I found so far, there's like this weird residue from this tail light. I guess they didn't really clean it too well, but I mean, I'm taking this to a detailer right away to get it ceramic coated and paint corrected. So that's really not much of an issue. All 
Oh, interesting. I've noticed that there is PPF right here on this quarter fender or this rear quarter panel fender. So that's super interesting. I'm not sure if they, the other generations came with that, but the PPF is only on this fender and it's actually not on this door. All right, so I'm trying to be a little incognito right now, but one guy, he was just charging it really quickly and he, I said I haven't given any money yet or accepted it, so I'm just gonna go inside really quick to finalize that, but he's gonna pull it off from the charger and then stage it to the left, but it's definitely pretty clean. There's one area, but we'll check when we, when we look at it again. Oh, it seems to be a little bit of a line here. So we're in the waiting room right now. There's some ads for Tesla Solar. And we're just sitting here watching this, like, I guess like this walkthrough of full self-driving. And of course, Elon's in the corner, just making sure everybody's working hard and all the customer deliveries are just going slow. Of course. Thank you. Hello. 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 How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, I found another Model X or a Model X. This is the dream car right here. I wonder if this is a five seater or not. I don't want to get too close, but here is my Model S. Holy crap, look how aggressive this is. It's so wide, it's like nuts. And the delivery advisor was telling me that this is zero to 60 in like 2.5 as well. I need to fact check that because the Plaid is like zero to 60 in like, I don't know, two seconds or even 1.9, but I can't imagine this is only half a second slower because that's actually insane. I mean, overall, I already took a look at this. It's super clean. I don't see any issues at all. Uh, just this one area back here uh, that's a little bit dirty on the tail light. Uh, and then, I mean, I guess there is a scratch right here, but I mean, I'm not gonna be completely like concerned about that. I'm definitely gonna do another video where after I've owned this for a little bit, I'm gonna see if I find any defects with the car after that. And I just noticed another thing that they parked kind of in the middle between these two spots for Model S. You see like a bunch of Model Ys on this side and a bunch of Model Ys on that side, but they put this Model S right here. One of the advisors just walked up to me and I pointed out the kind of the dirty residue. So she's gonna have someone come over and try and clean it up. But overall, the process has been super smooth so far. I went inside to like the delivery waiting room, basically gave them my money and my check, and then he walked me out here to take a look at the S. Super nice people here, flawless process so far, so it's been pretty cool. I just found another Model S. Of course, this one has the 21 or 22 inch rack nads for that's like $4,000, but it's got the cream interior, and I'm pretty sure this is a, oh, it's not a plaid. It's actually just another long range, but, couldn't afford the rim, so, and also I daily drive this car, so I know I just want the most comfortable suspension as possible, so I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with my decision. All right, so I just finally got into the app. It took like at least three minutes for some reason to connect, but I just turned on the AC and I unlocked it. So you can hear that it's basically running right now. So I only have like a really small checklist to just check for items. The first thing I just really, really wanna make sure, ooh, wow, that automatic is actually really nice. First thing I wanna make sure is it's cover for the trunk. 
It looks like it came with it, so no issues there. The other thing is some other people have noticed that these other trunk covers have not been coming with delivery either, but it seems like both of them are here, so no issues there. But my charger isn't here, so that charging kit with the J1772 adapter and everything isn't here, so maybe it's in the front, but I'm gonna check uh, really quickly in the front. But And then after that, I'm gonna go sit into the interior to see how it's going but one quick thing i'm noticing that's really weird is this i don't know what the heck this is but this is funky what is this it looks like there's some damage wow super interesting it looks like there's some damage and they try to cover it with some goo but uh it just looks real sketch so i'm gonna check the front now hopefully my charging kit and the j7712 adapter is there in terms of like the scratches and stuff, it's actually not too bad. I don't see too many swirl marks, so the paint correction is probably not going to do too much. I mean, it is also white, so I probably won't see it as much as possible. I probably won't see it a lot at all. All right, so my charging kit is here. It came with the, the 110 plus this J1772 adapter, which I definitely need. Everything brand new, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in there. That was probably like the one thing I wanted to really make sure I got, which is uh, kind of funny. All right, so the AC has been running for a bit. Uh, wait, no, my car went off again. Let's try it again. I don't, want, I don't want to jump into a completely hot car. All right, so I think it's running now. Doors pop out like this. Whose doors open like this? I can hear the AC running. So let's just do a quick once over on the interior. Seems like everything is fine. Wow, this yoke is just something else. That is weird. I don't see anything wrong right at the moment. Here's the window sticker. Model S plaid? Nope, just kidding. Oh wow, interesting. They have the new pricing on here as well. Even though I definitely did not pay $96,000 for this. That's uh, very interesting. So here's a window sticker. I did unfortunately get the black interior. I wanted the white interior, but of course beggars can't be choosers. I'll explain that definitely in a little bit. But you got the horizontal screen here. You got the yoke with the dash right behind it. But this is, this is it. I don't even know where my, oh, here are the keys. Okay, here are the two keys, but where are my fobs? So let me go ahead and ask them to figure out where those uh, fobs exactly are. So I can't figure out where my fobs are, but let me just, before I go over there and ask them for the fobs, let me see if it's in the glove box. Open glove box. Nope, not open charge point. Open glove box. Perfect. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, some books. The USB is right there. Oh, okay, cool. Here are my keys. Nice. All right, so I don't have to worry about that. It's gonna go ask them, but I guess I don't. All right, let me check my my list. I can't remember where I put this this darn list. Uh, but let me make sure I got everything before I leave. The Model X. This is my dream car right here. All right, so first drive in the Tesla. I got two card keys here, but it says I have to like tap it. Hold on. Oh, well, actually, yeah. I gotta tap it and then press the brake. I'm already pressing the brake, but let me see. Tap it here. Oh, look at that. It's already synced. Very, very good. All right. This is the first time I've driven this Model S and the first time experiencing this yoke too. So hopefully I don't hit anybody on the way out. Uh, let me see controls here. Let me adjust this. This is I've also never really um, messed with this new UI. I sold my last Model Y before I could um, get this UI. So this is every all, a lot of this is just completely brand new for me. All right, so I just swiped up. All right, just swiped up. Wow, this is so funky. Whoa, wow. I this is definitely new. I have not been in an electric car like this for a bit and I am just, it's, it's just so smooth in comparison to an ICE car. But this yoke is funky. This is funny because like everybody complains about the yoke in these like tight, oh geez, I just hit the honk. Everybody complains about the yoke in these like tight parking spaces, but I can see how you're supposed to do like hand over hand. But this is, this is funky. It's like a fighter jet type of, 
type of uh, flow right here. But all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and whoa. Oh, this turn race is not that good. All right, so I'm just gonna move my car that I brought here. I have to take it back to the shop and then park my Model S here and then I'll just come back and pick it up, I guess. All right, so I just braked. I unbuckled my seatbelt and I think it's already in park. So let me go ahead and move the other car and then I'll be right back. All right, so just getting back to the car right now, I just realized something and I wish I did before, but Tesla Model S did not come with floor mats for the front and the rear. So I'm going to have to put in like a service request, hopefully to get some floor mats delivered. But I wish I brought it up when I was there just so I could try and get them right then. But that's one thing I just forgot to check. So, but thanks for watching my Tesla Model S delivery video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions on buying a Model S or buying any Tesla. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.